So today, and especially if this is your like first week or first month of working out and you've been inactive or you haven't done this type of training ever or in a very long time, you're probably feeling sore. It's gonna be hard to sit down. It's gonna be hard to go up and down stairs. It's gonna be hard to reach for things. But here's the thing, is that sore equals sexy. Now pain doesn't equal sexy, pain equals injury. And today I'm gonna to go over the discussion of being sore versus being in pain. Now before I go on guys, give the video a like and let me know today, did you wake up sore? And do you feel sexy? Put that in the comment section. So if you just started working out or you haven't done this type of training ever or it's been a long time, you gotta understand that you're going to feel a level of discomfort or you're gonna feel soreness. And the less trained that your body is, the more it's going to take in time for your body to feel back to normal. Now I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Most of us that train five, six days a week, we're pretty much sore all the time. But your body becomes accustomed to it. And the way that you're gonna be able to tell that sore is working is Number one, are your clothes fitting better? Number two, the scale's gonna reflect after enough time of you doing this. And number three, what's your ability like? Think about when you first started. Now compare that to four weeks later. Just today, we were doing on the ground and I was watching everybody. One of the hardest things that anybody can do, especially if you haven't been training, is to engage your entire core and do a full sit up. Now I challenge you to try that full sit up and see your ability, right? And then start your fit club training, and see that ability after four weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, and so on and so on. And you're gonna see that the ability is going to increase because you get better at the things that you do more often. And you're going to be sore, especially when you're starting. And as you get stronger, you're creating more muscle tear breakdowns. But you gotta understand that that soreness is something that you're actually looking for because that's your body breaking down to rebuild and make it a stronger version of you. So how do you determine if you're in a good phase of being sore versus being in pain, which could lead to injury? So if you wake up stiff and a little bit sore, then that's good. You're, res you're good to resume a hard workout or get a high step day, maybe even an extra run. So if you wake up a little stiff with a little bit of soreness, you're gonna feel something here and there, but you're able to function. That's a good indicator that, hey, you know, that was probably the right amount of workouts that I did yesterday, so then you can repeat it today. Now, if you wake up sore, like your butt cheeks are sore or your chest is really sore or whatever it is, then you should probably reduce the amount of workouts that you're doing. So if you did one workout and you went all out yesterday, then today you do a workout, but then you decrease your load, you slow yourself down mentally because not every workout has to kill you. We have to understand that. If you want your body to heal faster and you wanna still continue to see results, then movement is the key. Rest is never really the key. Even if you're bedridden and they have you like laying there and you're in a coma, they're gonna be moving your body because they wanna try and preserve as much muscle mass as possible because if you stop, you're gonna lose quite a bit. So the key for you that you're capable is to work through the soreness but you gotta be able to mentally slow yourself down and understand that the cheesecake that you ate on the weekend isn't gonna be burnt in this one workout. And if you just do a light workout or two light workouts or three light workouts just so that your body can mend itself properly, that's okay. So you need to decrease the load if you wake up sore. Now the last point is that if you wake up in pain. So pain is where you can't step down on your leg, where you're limping, where you can't lift your arm above your shoulder then this is a point where you need to decrease your load immensely. Now mentally it's going to mess with you because you're not able to do the things that you weren't able to do before. But that's okay because with time, patience, and with body movement, you're gonna eventually heal that body. It's just going to take a little bit longer. Now what are two points that you need to do if you have pain? So again, if you're limping or you can't bend your knee and it's completely swollen or you can't lift your arm over your shoulder, is number one is you need to fix your nutrition. Because if you wanna to continue to see results, then we have to clean it up. So this is the point where you can't outwork your bad diet, okay? This is the point where you have to start tracking your food or you need to hire a belly burn coach. You need somebody to be on you to make sure that you're eating clean and properly because you're not burning as much calories as you were before when you're able to kill it at the gym. 
And number two is that you need to step up your recovery program. For me, I try to see a massage therapist or a chiro or physio, like most of you already have benefits, utilize that, okay? And if you don't, then you can schedule it where you get maybe like one massage a month, maybe go see a physio once a month, Whatever it takes, you need to start investing into your recovery. If you don't have access to those tools or those are unaffordable, then there's no reason why you can't stretch first thing in the morning and stretch at night. There's no reason why you can't increase the amount of water that you're drinking. There's no reason why you can't buy one of those massage guns from Amazon that only costs like 30 bucks and you can just flush the body out and it's gonna increase your recovery. But if you get to the point of pain where you're limping or you can't lift your arm, then we have to step up the nutrition and we have to step up your recovery protocol. So there we have it, we have the three levels of muscle soreness. Stiffness is okay to resume your intense workouts. Sore, you maybe have to consider decreasing the load the very next day. Pain, you have to decrease it significantly, but keep your body moving, but at the same time, you need to increase the amount of time you're spending in recovery, and you also have to work on your nutrition. Guys, I'm Coach RJ, give the video a like, let me know if you woke up sore today and do you feel extra sexy? Post it in the comment section.